हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एस अट्रिब्यूट एंड एल अट्रिब्यूट रिमेंबर एस अट्रिब्यूट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज सिंथेसाइज्ड अट्रिब्यूट एल अट्रिब्यूट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज इनहेरिटेड अट्रिब्यूट सो नाउ यू सी द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एस अट्रिब्यूट इट यूजेस ओनली सिंथेसाइज्ड अट्रिब्यूट रिमेंबर एस अट्रिब्यूट ऑलवेज यूजेस ओनली वन थिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज synthesized attributes but when it comes to the l attribute it uses both synthesized and inherited attributes so s attribute nothing but this is a synthesized attribute l attribute nothing but both synthesized and inherited attribute in the second point semantic actions are placed right end of the production you can see this is called as a production now we are going to write here semantic actions so if you place the semantic actions at the end this is called as s attribute but if you see what about l attribute semantic actions are placed anywhere on right hand side you see a tends to bc here but i placed starting of the production if you see here there are two productions d, uh, d two values d and e but the productions the uh, semantic actions placed between d and e so this is called as what we say semantic actions are placed anywhere on right hand side in this starting production in this middle of the value this is called as what we say l attribute remember one of the most important point s attribute follows bottom up approach whereas l attribute will follow the top down approach let us discuss more about this s attribute and l attribute s attribute is also called as synthesized attribute so s attribute at a node in a parse tree is determined by the values of its children very very important points the node is determined by its children values okay so node is determined by the its children values so what is mean by s attribute in this node in a parse tree is determined by values of its children nodes okay so node is determined by its children nodes now you can see the example here a tends to b c d so here the main node is a it is determined so a is equal to either b a is equal to either c or a is equal to d you can see here a dot s is equal to b dot s a dot s is equal to c dot s a dot s is equal to d dot s so a value is b a value is either c a value is either d so what is going to be happened in this it is determined by its children nodes okay so here you can observe the main thing is a tends to b c d here a is there b c d in this a is called as root node b c d are called as children's so what they going to say parse tree is determined by values of its children nodes okay so this a if at all you want to find the value of a it depends on b that is a dot s is equal to b dot s a dot s is equal to c dot s a dot s is equal to d dot s so collectively we can also write a dot s is equal to f of b dot s comma c dot s comma d dot s here s indicates the synthesized attribute so this is called as what we say synthesized attribute so synthesized attribute will depends on its children's so here a is root node children nodes are b c d let us move on to l attribute l attribute at a node in a parse tree is determined by parents or its siblings okay so in this the node is determined by its parent value 
so if at all you want to find the value of c so c is a yes because whenever i want to find the value of a c c nothing but here a a is going to have parent now you can see we can also say parent yes so that's why c dot i is equal to a dot i also its siblings siblings means after c we have d it is a sibling before c we have b this is also a sibling suppose if you see here a b c d so what they are saying in this it depends on its parents suppose i want to find the value of c so the parent value is a the parent value is a then we are going to have c dot i is equal to b dot i so it depends on siblings siblings means here b d are called as siblings for c so we are going to say c dot i is equal to b dot i yes c dot i is equal to d dot i so this is all about the what we call s attribute and l attribute so finally what is the main difference between ls l attribute and s attribute it uses synthesized attribute and l attribute it uses synthesized and inherent attribute so s attribute uh, semantic actions are placed right end side so in this l attribute semantic actions are placed anywhere remember s attribute means right end side you see a tends to b c c so here semantic actions are provided at the end of the production in this we can provide anywhere in the production semantic attribute so here synthesize s attribute we are also used bottom up approach but in the l attribute we used top down approach in the synthesize attribute it depends on the children suppose if you want to find the value of a so it depends on its children a dot s is equal to b dot s yes a dot s is equal to c dot s a dot s is equal to d dot s but if you see l attribute so in the l attribute at the node in a parser tree determined by parents and its children so siblings so here if at all i want to find the value of c c is equal to a because its parent c is equal to b because of its sibling left sibling c is equal to d because of its right sibling so this is all about the what we call s attribute and l attribute thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts you can ask me